up, what up, world? Happy Wednesday, and welcome back to Pop Dust Presents, hour number two. Shout out to Suitcase City and Brent Buller for holding down the first hour, but my guest at this time, you know what I'm saying? I know summer's on its way up, but guess what? We're going to keep the vibes rolling, and we're going to take you to Jamaica for a little bit. You guys are from Jamaica, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All from the same part of Jamaica, or all from different parts? Different parts. Different parts. Different parts, pretty much. Some from country. Born up here, man. Born in Kingston, and I was born down the country. Dope, dope, dope. Was there a question? Yeah. Yeah, different parts. Um, I think he's from Spanish town. Sometimes I don't believe him. <laughs> um, I'm from Saint Andrew. Um, Cocoa Port Land, Portland. Kingston. Yeah. Kingston, man. Yeah. Great yeah. Park. Never knew that. <laughs> Yeah, so we have two Kingston, we have one Portland, we have one Spanish town, Asterix. Oh, and Spanish town, yeah, Spain, 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 yeah. Cool, cool, cool. So, tell us a little bit more about, you know, making the transition coming from Jamaica to the United States and making music. Because I heard originally that a lot of y'all grew up in the church. So, yeah. reggae was actually off limits. So, how did y'all finagle that? That's just like anything else, right? Um, if you love it, you're going to find a way to do it. You're going to find a way to do it if you love it. So, you know, for myself, my, my, my dad's a pastor. And my mom is in the church, the pastor. I mean, I grew up in the church. So I used to wait until, like, after church to actually play. What we wanted to play. We had to, like, put up with, like, the hymns and stuff. Just because we wanted to play. And I, I know, like, a couple of us have, like, similar experiences, like, singing in choirs and playing. So, I just like anything in life, like if you, if you actually love it, you're going to find a way, even if you're going to get a few pieces after church. <laughs> yeah, one, beat. one beat. One beat. <laughs> one beat. <laughs> Same here, I used to um, try to do it back in church. I used to say, you know, sneak it in. Do it about it. You know what I used to sing? Yeah, same. Like my, my father's a pastor, so somehow I have access to the church, so I could just go over there and all times close the doors. Sometimes, yo, I'll be in there sweating. It was so hot. I close all the windows, close all the doors, and play a reggae. Can't make nobody know what's in there. I play reggae. See, for me, um, I play, play in church when I was younger. You know, it was very hard. You know, parents don't want to play reggae music, or they call it secular music. Yeah. You know, but it's what I love, so I pursue it. Y'all are very good at it. So for me, church never really stopped me from playing because I never really used to listen to reggae <laughs> until we reach a New York and link up with Coco. Them time never really start pre reggae, pre reggae, pre reggae. And currently still pre reggae. So they corrupted you pretty much. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good girl. Right. 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 Enlighten you. Yeah. Enlighten. See that? Lead the right part. Well, we don't want to encourage you to disobey your parents, but in this case, you see how it worked out. So, follow your dreams if you got one. So, do you, do you, do you, do you. So, tell the people a little bit about the origin of the name Royal Chaos. Origin of the name Royal Chaos. Well, well, all of each and every one of us, as I say, we're in the music and the name. as natural as it is. Very so once you're natural you go right you come from there. And with the music now, where it's chaotic. I mean before you can get a balance everything, you need corruption. You can some love and everything and mix and straighten out the mix, straighten out and see what's your thing. Right chaos just forms from that, from out of the jungle, you know, something nice can come out. And we come in style and leave musical instruction where so it's like a a mixture between primitive but pretty, kind yeah. of. Yeah, yeah. Raya and yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, like, it's like a tuxedo with sweats. <laughs> I'm sold. I'm sold. <laughs> so yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like the contrast. It's like, it's yeah, pretty much like how like. Yeah, it depends on like the zoom. If the zoom in, when the upper would go, then if the zoom out, it's like, all right, these guys are with up. <laughs> so, so how did you guys begin to, you know, make a name for yourself throughout, you know, Bronx and the rest of New York City with the band as yourself because it's not just reggae, you guys kind of embody different styles like soul, a little bit of R&B, so how did you guys manage to like take all those different sounds and kind of combine them to make the world of chaos sound? Well, 
for, for me personally, if you're going to play in a band, um, create your own music, you want to use that platform to kind of show your personality. Yep. So as Bama, he has a lot yep. of like um, soul and R&B vibes. So it, even though it's reggae, we don't want to have to sound like a Bama. We bring our own personality. So if I listen to rap, um, I'm going to make a song that's called Jam Rock and Roll. That's on the EP. Check it out. iTunes. Anyways, um, yeah, and if, if you need to talk gospel and I like the chords in it, I'm going to put it in it. So it's like, we use this and we bring it, we use it, I use this as a platform to showcase like, my personality. And that's, and we just take the same model and, and regardless of where we're playing, I just saw a shout out that was like a mic or something. That's good. We're in trouble. Right. So, I'm saying we just take the same model and we just, regardless if we're in like a hole in the wall in the Bronx or if we're playing like on tour in California or we're touring the world somewhere. And that's, that's how we do it. That's how I do it. So it's kind of a little bit like the name itself, like you guys have different styles, which is kind of in a sense like, you know, the chaos, but then when it comes together, it makes this one big yeah. thing that sounds We just have music, you know? Yeah. We just have music. Right. Yeah. 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 Same question? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, what Royal K has made to me is, as you say, is the contrast. You know, we, 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 we believe we, we're polished enough to be intelligent human beings. We understand certain bounds of life. But at the same time, we understand that for anything to be changed, it's going to cause chaos. You, know, you can't have like an organized rebellion. It doesn't make much sense. It's not a rebellion. So that's what really Royal K has said. And at the same time, we just want to have fun. You know, we just regular young kids just trying to express ourselves through music. Dope, dope, dope. So tell us a little bit about the EP, Release the Pressure. What's the meaning behind the title? How did it all come about? And <laughs> what are some of your favorite moments putting this project together? Well, Release the Pressure, I mean, as it suggests, <laughs> it, was, it, was, <laughs> it was a pressure release. Because yeah. <laughs> the thing is, we, um, we have a resident producer, so we do so much music. We have so much music. I mean, I'm sure anybody in the music industry can understand musicians. Sometimes you word music because it ain't ready for release yet. Mm -hmm. So it's just that, that, that EP was just uh, like a snippet of, yo, know, this is what we're doing. And also, um, proverbially, like like the message of what we're trying to bring or look out for what we're trying to show you, like, yo, know, this is the, the line we're trying to, you know? Mm -hmm. Musically and mentally where we are. Because that's what the music is. It's just a reflection of all of our mental state, I guess, at the time. Awesome, awesome. So you guys gotten to play with, like, some legends. What is it like being in the presence of like people that you grew up idolizing and listening to their music and then you wind up sharing the stage with them? Is it intimidated or is it like we made it? No intimidation, uh, man. It's like, I mean, it's like a um, sense of that we're there with them and grateful for that. But not, not in the place uh, of reach or this or that. We're grateful that we're there with them and share the stage. It's like playing music and you know showing your gift and taking advantage of the opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a joy when you do it. So it's just love. Yeah. And Jamaicans are never scared, so <laughs> <laughs> you guys create like, you know, uh, created like a landscape with, you know, the, the voice out and how does it feel kind of being like, you know, I wanna say ahead of the game because there aren't too many places in the Bronx where people can come see live music and even see a live performance. So how do you guys feel about kind of curating this environment for people to come see you perform and kind of enjoy the very live proud. Bit. Very proud. It's a great yeah. place. Very proud. I mean, <coughs> dead, I, mean, dead. I mean, for us to, to get up a Wednesday, so we keep the voice out on a Thursday. And we came up with the name on a Wednesday evening, and we just set up Thursday morning, and we just called a few of our friends and say, oh, let's have a jam session. And, and, and then we have like poets like, you know, Marley Mar that come through. We have seen the Blanco, we have some uptown people from the Bronx. And we came through without even having a template. It was like, yo, we just like feed off of the energy and feed off of the vibes. And it's like, to where it has grown to at this point, like we could have never like, foreseen oh, doing something. So it's like, I'm proud, it's like a little child that's growing up. We've, we've been doing it for like um, two months now. Yeah. And, and time, time, time is crazy because in that little span of this thing we created out of nothing, we've had like international artists come through, like Junior Reeds and some, some other people, some other artists that... Corinne Collins, Naomi Campbell, 
they so want it. Yeah. For me, Alan, for having yeah. people that can come, like you have a son, you're just making my artist, and he can be on the same show as a junior, or he can perform after him or before him. Yeah. Like that's, that's awesome. what I think. That's the joy for me. Like, and I this is a platform for everybody. And I wouldn't say we're ahead of the game with it. I would actually say we're doing something that everybody actually wanted to do. Because maybe other people out there in the Bronx, they wanted to do it. Yeah. But they just probably didn't have even the location or have the right people around them. Because without the right people around them, I mean, they can't really make food, the right move. So yeah. I would say we're actually in the right environment. And it's going great. We enjoy it every Thursday. So what's up next for Royal Chaos? What you guys got coming up next? Oh, it's so we have one set coming up tomorrow, um, and then we have like we have the album coming out. We have um, obviously we have Walk with Jab, which was the song we just performed. Um, the video is available on YouTube and all other platforms. Um, and we're really just working the album now. Like, um, we had to release the pressure, so we have a few of those songs, and we have a whole like bunch of new songs. And we just um, get residency as well, right? That's good. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Groove uh, NYC. Groove NYC, which was a great venue we played um, in the, over the summer. Yes, yeah, and I see this. Yeah, so we'll be here on a couple Sundays. Yes, um, last Sunday, October, November. November yeah. 5th. So November 5th. September 28th. September 28th. November, November 5th. 5th. November? Yeah. 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 Everything is on the website. <laughs> <laughs> so it's K-H-A-O-Z. And if you guys have like um you know like the iPod or something, let's look it up. Um I mean we have stuff coming up next year, but I really want to release um the full project maybe you know the first quarter of next year. So that's fine. But we have voice out tomorrow in case you didn't pick up anything else. <laughs> and that's in the ground. Yeah. Where can they find you at on social media and stuff? Instagram, Facebook, yeah. everywhere. Instagram, so, Royal underscore chaos. K H A O Z. You know? With and the K. You find that, you'll find everything. Yeah, you find that, you find everything. Find awesome. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Respect chaos. Make sure you get their EP. Release the pressure out now. Voice out tomorrow in the Voice world. Voice out. Voice, Voice out. out. Tomorrow yeah. night in the Bronx, once again, from everybody here at Pop This, I am Decent. Make sure you follow us on all social media <laughs> at Pop Dust. Make sure you visit our website at popdust.com. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you next week. Pop Dust out. Peace. Yeah.